Joining us now, the president of the UFC himself, Dana White. Dana, you heard John Jones. He basically said he'll fight anyone. So who will that anyone be? And he, he is willing to fight anyone. So I uh, obviously the number one choice would be Anthony Johnson, who is the number two ranked guy in the world, and a fight that everybody wants to see. But Anthony Johnson just had surgery on his mouth and can't even put a mouthpiece in for at least three weeks. So as you go down the line, other guys have fights set up. His, his opponent will be the number six ranked, Ovin St. Pru. Ovin St. Pru. Now, another name we heard was perhaps Rashad Evans. Why not Rashad? Rashad Evans is fighting uh, the week after uh, against uh, Glover Teixeira. So he already has a fight. Plus, Rashad Evans is ranked number seven. Ovid St. Pru is ranked number six. So, you know, number one versus number six, it makes more sense. We're seeing some video of the man known as OSP right now. He's looked incredible at times, never better than when he knocked out Mauricio Shogun Hu in about 30 seconds. But almost every other time he's faced elite competition, he's come up short. Why do you think this time could be different? Yeah, listen, the one thing that we learned in the 16 years of this business is you never know what's going to happen. Anything is possible when two guys, two guys get in there. John uh, Jones and, and OSP have never faced off before. Number one versus number six, two big, strong, athletic, explosive guys. Anything's possible. Well, most of us remember Jones turning down a short-notice fight that resulted in the cancellation of UFC 151. You were not happy then. Why do you think <laughs> Jones made a different decision this time around? You know, I, it, it's the right decision to make. Many people believe that John Jones is not only the best fighter in the world, but probably the best ever. And, uh, you know, the guy's had a full camp, and uh, he's been taking this, this training camp very serious. There shouldn't be a guy in the world that he, he's worried about facing. So I, I think this is the right decision for him, and uh, I think the fans are going to be happy that, that, that he decided to fight too. Now, will this fight between Jones and St. Pru be for an interim title? It will. It will still be the main event. It'll be five rounds for the uh, light heavyweight interim title. And, you know, the thing is, John, John has never lost his title in the octagon. He was stripped of his title because of problems outside. And, uh, you know, we think it's the right thing to do. It's not his fault that, that Cormier is injured. So uh, he will fight for the interim light heavyweight title. And when Cormier comes back, they'll, they'll decide who the real champ is. Cormier just released a statement to our Brett Okamoto at ESPN.com. He wanted to apologize for the fan, to the fans for missing uh, this fight. Said he'd be back in maybe four to six weeks, but he didn't mention anything about an interim title. Have you told Cormier about that? Have not talked to Cormier about that yet. <laughs> How's he going to feel, do you think, when you drop that bomb on him? You know what? Cormier is a, is a team player. He's, he's a great guy, and, uh, you know, I think he understands. And, I, and as much as he dislikes John Jones personally, he respects him as a fighter. All right, and Ovince St. Pru, the son of Haitian immigrants, played football for Tennessee after college, decided to try out mixed martial arts. Here he is. What a great story and what a chapter it would be if he can somehow be perhaps the greatest fighter in UFC history. Dana White, thanks for your time here on SportsCenter. Thanks for having me.